Welcome to yellowmotors.com. Uh, Today we're at the Balaco circuit uh, just outside of Milan to test drive the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. The Quadrifoglio is the uh, high performance version of the Stelvio SUV, which itself is Alfa Romeo's late coming uh, entry into the SUV market. And what an entry it is. Named Stelvio after the Stelvio Pass segment between Italy and Switzerland in the historic Mille Miglia uh, race, the uh, Stelvio Quadrifoglio version bears the brand's traditional good luck charm uh, emblem, the four leaf clover. It distills the, uh, the Alpha brand's historic uh, racing uh, heritage into, an, into SUV form and is now the uh, fastest SUV on the Nürburgring Nordschleife uh, circuit. Stelvio Quadrifoglio's uh, slatted, vented uh, bonnet. It's powered by a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 engine that's been developed for it by its uh, Ferrari cousins in Maranello and it develops 510 horsepower and 600 newton meters of uh, torque. Now we're on one of the uh, smaller circuits, uh, one of the more relaxed circuits at Balaco, and we're driving the Stelvio Quadrifoglio. The Quadrifoglio, as we talked about earlier, is uh, the world's quickest uh, SUV on the Nürburgring circuit. The turbos are positioned uh, in a hot V position between the cylinder banks, uh, so even though they're single scroll turbos, uh, the Quadrifoglio pulls up pretty quickly and it's, uh, it's brisk from standstill. It'll go from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds. Twin turbocharged, the um, Stelvio Quadrifoglio features a hot V setup with uh, both single scroll turbos uh, set up between the cylinder banks. Now this uh, this uh, allows it to have short gas, uh, gas flow paths, which ensures uh, that it's quick to sp spool and quick uh, and responsive off the line. Driving all four wheels through a smooth and slick eight-speed uh, gearbox, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio's uh, power is uh, heavily biased towards the rear. Under normal conditions, it sends 100% of its power rearwards and can alter this uh, with up to 50% going frontwards uh, when needed for grip for stability and at the same time there's a limited slip differential on the back axle that varies power side to side for the added agility and so forth grip handling its steering is uh, nice and well weighted it's not too light not too heavy for an SUV with big uh, 20 inch alloy wheels it gives reasonably good feed you know, feel uh, feel and feedback for the roads uh, the car is waiting and front to rear balance. Uh, we don't have uh, the figures in front of us, but it's pretty close to 50-50. The Quadrifoglio is offered with, uh, with standard steel brakes uh, or carbon ceramic brakes. The uh, steel brakes uh, have better feel, feedback, and uh, allow for easier modulation of uh, brake force. Whereas the ceramic brakes may feel a bit dull or not sensitive initially, but when they warm up they become better and they ultimately they provide better performance than the steel brakes. Uh, and they're much uh, better at fade resistance and so forth. The uh, Quadrifoglio is riding um, on adaptive uh, dampers, uh, which can be set from three actually four different settings uh, DNA dynamic and uh, I think natural or normal and a is uh, the comfort mode and there's also a race mode now this doesn't just affect the uh, the dampers uh, it affects the uh, throttle the engine characteristics the uh, stability controls how much leeway they give you to uh, you know through corners uh, and uh, throttle we said throttle control um, the gearbox also is affected by the DNA driving modes. It becomes uh, more responsive, quicker, uh, more aggressive through shifts as well. We were driving it earlier on on the uh, on the Lange, uh, 21 kilometer track at uh, at Balaco, and uh, the uh, the Quadrifoglio didn't feel like an SUV. It felt uh, closer to a sports saloon or um, or a large hot hatch uh, in the way it was. Uh, in how agile it was in the dips and uh, and, and corners. Um, 
meanwhile, uh, through through those corners, through the, that track, you could feel the uh, its four-wheel drive sending power back, forth, limited slip differential, right side, and the car was gripping hard, turning in, uh, turning in crisp, and holding it through the corner very tight before shooting off onto the straight. It's stylish and sexy. The uh, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio has uh, has the sound of a performance car. It's snarling. It's uh, raspy in the, the the exhaust. It's quick through corners. It's uh, agile on track. But more than that, it's a um, it's an everyday lifestyle uh, SUV that's very convenient. In the back, it'll seat even uh, a tall, fat. You know, overweight guy like myself, the back's got plenty of space, uh, the visibility from the windows is great, and uh, for, a first, uh, for a first SUV from Alfa Romeo, I think they've, uh, they've hit the mark. So, um, Arrivederci from Italy, and we'll be looking forward to driving the Alfa Romeo in the Middle East soon.